Investigators trying to determine what caused a deadly Amtrak crash in South Carolina that killed two crew members and injured more than 100 people. Six passengers remain hospitalized. Two of those are in critical condition. The accident happened early yesterday morning when the passenger train was diverted from the main line onto a side track where it collided with a parked freight train. Dan Chinnaman reports. Investigators on scene at a fatal Amtrak crash in South Carolina are focusing on why a manual switch was locked in the wrong position, sending the train onto the wrong track and into a park freight train. Bodies everywhere, people on top of one another. I couldn't move. The train was en route from New York to Miami with 147 people on board when it slammed into an empty CSX freight train that was parked on a side track. The Amtrak train was operating on CSX track, owned by CSX and controlled by CSX. The collision happened around 2.30 Sunday morning while most of the passengers were asleep. You know, you don't expect to wake up with bouncing off of chairs and people next to you bleeding. You know, there was a few broken noses, teeth knocked out. Killed in the crash were the train's conductor, Michael Sella, and engineer, Michael Kemp, whose brother says he was concerned about rail safety. He told me he says, one of these times there's something's going to happen and I'm not going to walk away from it. Authorities say a system called positive train control, which can detect the location of trains and the position of switches, might have prevented the crash. Now, investigators are trying to determine why the passenger train was diverted off the main line and onto a sidetrack with tragic results. Amtrak has been involved in three high profile crashes in the last seven weeks, renewing calls for quicker implementation of positive train control. The system is already in place in the northeast, but has faced delays in other parts of the country.